We are here, we are doing community outreach program. As you have seen, since eight, we've been moving around the township of Mabopane, trying to interact with the people, trying to understand how best can we as government improve on our service delivery. Then it's very exciting that people had an opportunity to share with us. What I observed is that people like to interact with their political principles. The warmth that we've, we've been received with, find their issues of saving delivery that we've come across. And then the beauty about it, we've got the city of Sane with us. We've got the provincial government represented by the MEC for infrastructure with us. So there are issues that they've raised that we're going to attend. There are quick wins and those that need long-term planning, we are going to make sure that they get attended. Secondly, you'll recall this is the tourism month, also public service month. And now we are here in this hall. We want to do the digital migration awareness now. That's why we are here in this hall. So it's a combination of the various activities that we've been doing since morning. Now we're going to get in here. You will have seen entities were busy presenting the opportunities that come with this issue of us migrating from analog to digital. So that's basically why we are here today. And digital migration is only mean that movement from analog to digital, terrestrial television. What it entails is that now, now as you speak, some people struggle to get the quality of the television. You know, the pictures are not clear. Sometimes the sound is a problem. With digital migration, we're going to eliminate all those things. Also, when you use a phone, you know, if you are having a, an analog television, it gets up, it affects the television. So these are things of the past that we are migrating to digital, wherein there will be quality pictures, quality sound, and more services like then you'll be able to have multiplicity of channels, wherein now we can address the issue of the cultural diversity. Like you know now at the SABC, sometimes your stories are not flighted because of the limited airtime. So now you'll get, you'll get, you will have enough platform wherein then all your content will be able to be, be, be viewed by the people. We're going to have a lot of channels, but what matters, we want the local content inside. Hence, I encourage uh, young people to also take a career in filmmaking, photography, so that we'll be able to feed all these channels that we're going to have. But now, come the first of October now, we are launching the registration. The post office is ready. We are starting in the Northern Cape because it's an SK area and it's part of our priority. So on the 2nd of October, we'll be launching awareness. Then it means all indigent people. I, need, I think by now South Africans know who is indigent, who is indigent because it's a category where you cannot afford and then you'll be going to the post office, we'll use the indigent registers from the municipalities so that we check also your, your means test whether you're able to afford or not. But come the 1st of October, the post office will be open throughout the country to make sure that people start to register because uh, the post office is the distributing uh, agent to this effect. It's the one that will be distributing the, the boxes.